Here is here's a video. Launch plans for Amazon's new world MMO release. He's got like a whole bunch of shit going on here. He got a clock in his stuff. Oh, bro. Release expectations, server details, company content. Firstly, we're here in chat. I want to know what, uh, what uh, covenant we should go with because we should probably sort that out. Yeah. Before we, before we actually start. Are we going to go, are we going to go, I mean, which, which of those three covenants? I'm thinking syndicate only because of the, the whole stabby stabby thing. And then there's the military one, which is the red one, I think. They seem like it. Okay. 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 Bunch of cool, cool bunch of dudes. Essentially. The Dark Souls Covenant no, in, um, in uh, New World, you, you get to choose your, um, your covenant. You get to choose. I think there's three. Jez and I picked the server. There's three. I think Jez and I picked the server. Okay. Already? What's the server that it's on? Because I've got, I just got invited to a Discord group by a friend, Navi. Um, oh, is covenant is the server. I don't know what it is. What faction it is, sorry. Um, there's three. There's three, right? Which covenant? The 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 syndicate. Syndicate sounds sick. I'm down for that. I'm not just down for that. But anyways, here's uh launch points by Sir Medieval. This, this, hopefully, this is good. I'm I'm, I'm getting so hyped for this fucking game, man. Oh. Oh, bro, this one's got production value, bro. Ooh. What's going on, folks? Hope you're having a good night or day. Bro, we're having a fantastic night or day, man. Thank you so much, Sir Medieval. Thank you, Dad. Time to talk about some of the launch plans we'll have for New World, as well as cover the server list that was recently revealed. Mm -hmm. We've got quite a few to choose from this time around, but we'll also... Boys, here is the menu. Here is the fucking menu, boys. Here's the fucking menu. Let's go. Right. We're not playing NA East. Sorry, not doing Central Europe. Also sorry, NA West can't go near. But here we got Australia. Friends went and got Marauder during the first beta. I was absolutely slaughtered. Everyone else was Syndicate. This is why we need to figure it out, right? We need to figure out what, what where we're going. There's a Deary, a Rakalu, Uzdaka, Uzaka, Agatha, Eridu, Yama, Zara, Bazak. Swan, a swan. Utopia seems like the good way. Yep, yep. Yeah, we can change after after thirty ninety or thirty days. Yeah, I'm I'm so down for that because then we can literally just go ahead and do it, and then you know we go get ourselves built up, whatever the fuck it is, and then we just go yeah, cool, cool. If you bounce, we can we can we can do it. Yep, yep. They sound like Tarkov names. They sound like names that, like, when you go to someone, hey man, what server are you playing on? I'm playing on, uh, Schwaga. Where's that? South America. Okay, cool. These names are very convoluted, man. There's a lot of servers, though. Holy shit. Cheeky bricky. <laughs> got to get a link. They just 50. Uh, just uh, take the mic and read off in the game and say, yeah, absolutely. Holy hell. So we're going to go, we're going to go Utopia. Yeah. Utopia is, is this server that we're, that we're going to play on. Uh, we have a large amount of players joining in this time around. So it does right. make sense. They also do have the server tech to merge realms if they need to. So yeah. The boys fine after things die down. However, I believe when they tried that during the closed beta as a test, there might've been an issue with the territory transferring side of it. So if it happens to your realm, just be wary of that part for sure. So for North American East, we've got these servers nah, here. Bruh. I'm assuming Themyscira and Olympus will be one of the more popular PvP servers again. For players interested in roleplay, Orofina was chosen as the roleplayer server during the open bruh. beta, but this could end up different, so make sure you join the roleplay Discord just in case. I'll leave a link in the description below. We shall pay that shit. Europe up next. I believe <laughs> Asgard and Hades might get a lot of attention from PvP players again, but be sure to monitor the other platforms because you might see some of the public do you guys notice that like the, the, the servers that are easy to pronounce are the ones that relatively people are, are fucking gravitating towards? Yeah, I wish we had Valhalla. We should fucking need Valhalla, you know what I mean? Asgard, man. Get the fuck out of here. We need Asgard, bro. Jesus Christ. Like dynamically shift before the release. And for the roleplay server during- We need fucking Osgard. Got him! In the open beta, it was Runeberg. 
We then have Australia and South America, which I must admit, I'm not 100% sure about any of these servers in terms of PvP, but South America does have Atlantis, so that mm. might end up being one of them since that was one of the more popular ones during the closed beta. And Didn't even give us the time of day. Guys, uh, let's go Utopia, because Utopia is going to be all big dick energy kids, and uh, it's going to be the best place you want to play. All right, everyone go to Utopia. That's, uh, there should be an Aussie server called Dingo. There should be 100% one called Dingo. <laughs> cool. Yeah, Wagga would be awesome name, dude. Awesome name. The cool one, Wagga, man. Everyone's going to go there straight away, dude. God damn. Last but not least, we have our very own North American West. Pretty decent chunk of servers, and I do like that we have Camelot on our side. Love that name. But I'm sure you all know that there's only one choice for me. The players on this server. Dude, they have, have fucking so better history. names than us. What the fuck is going on here? Camelot, El Dorado, freaking, uh, we got here. Lilliput. Oh my god. Akamia. We got gypped on server names, bro. Camelot. That's, what I, that's how I always used to read it until I had to train my brain to not read it as game a lot. Already, just from the closed beta and open beta alone. <laughs> Very excited to be playing with the Marauder faction again, and I think there's going to be a hell of a lot of competition to expect this time around. Bruh. During the open beta, we had guilds to fight like Arcadia on Syndicate, one nah, of bro. absolute favorites known as the Ooh. Witchers on Covenant, and we had so many more new ones that I saw, including a guild that's going to be on the Marauder side known as the Eminent Empire. Played with them and a couple others during the open beta, and I can highly recommend checking them out if you're in need of a guild on the green side. Me personally, as mm. some of you know, I don't plan on starting a company or anything like that. There's multiple reasons for why I don't. Some are political based, makes things simpler when you don't have to worry L about that. L what? To Lillian to Pallian is a mouthful. I don't know how you would even pronounce that. <laughs> like, what's the way you play on? To Lillian to Pallian. Really? Okay, that's. Okay, bro. Cool, cool, cool server name. Um, we're we're going to go here and play on Camelot. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, man. Also lets me focus on just enjoying the game and covering it <laughs> as best I can. And I also get oh, to showcase bruh. what the experience is like from a mostly solo player's perspective, okay. so I like that too. But I'll still be playing very closely with the Marauder faction and supporting all the guilds in every way. But since I'll be playing without a company, it does mean that I'll have to work much harder to make ends meet. So in addition to that, and since we'll finally be getting launch, I'm going to attempt to live stream the first day for about 28 to 36 hours. Jesus now that we're Christ, 28 to 36 hours. I remember doing a 24 hour stream and having to sleep the entire next day. When I used to, when we first started this channel, there are, there are, if you go deep enough into the archives, there are like three 24 hour streams that I did. Actually, I think one of them's unlisted. Um, maybe two of them are unlisted because I used to play music on there. But I remember I would stream on a Saturday and then just sleep all the way through Sunday. Fuck that. <laughs> Why would you do that when you could just stream for like four or five, I mean, five hours one day, have a nap, whatever it is, to then stream for five hours and have a nap, like space it out. Sounds like you said it correctly. You would summon a demon. If I play in Camelot, I'm a fan of a mouthful. Oh, God. <laughs> you bet you will. Finally not having to worry about any more wipes. I think I'll be more motivated than ever to really Oh, dude. I was, look at the plague doctors, the man. Before the very first alpha, so I'm absolutely just ready to tap. Bro, we're going to be ready. We're going to stomp this shit. Of weeks, I was able to get a big refresh. Dude, I want to get in one place on this sure fucking PvP I shit. outdoors to last me this entire launch. I went and saw two movies, Shang-Chi and Candyman. Was able to take a trip to SeaWorld and got free tickets to a magic show. Nice. Stuff like that, so we're completely good there. I'm ready to finally go all in. Streaming for that long without sleep might be a bit difficult for me, but I've been practicing with going longer and longer periods as these testing phases and time Bro. are on. I'm going to make sure we take regular breaks, and since I'll be on YouTube streaming, I'll have to chop the live stream into at least two or three it's parts, gonna be here. which means once we get to the 14 or 15 hour mark, I'll have to restart the stream to make sure it doesn't corrupt the VOD, and the VOD recordings on YouTube for live streaming always cut off at 12 hours. They do. So anything that happens between that 12th and 5th hour won't make it in, That's but I'll right. try to update everybody briefly in the next one. And mm -hmm. I do have a plan for leveling, but I'm going to keep that under wraps for now because some things might get nerfed. But one more thing is the guide content and what I'm expecting from this launch. <laughs> Am I going to dress up and wear a cloak for the stream? You bet, you bet. You bet, you bet, bro. You bet. You fucking bet. I'll get some fucking hobbit fucking, I'll get, I'll get a fucking hobbit, hobbit outfit. And wear that on stream. 
This dude is a madman. I remember Wrath of Lich King dropped it at 36,000 and wanted to die. This guy reminds me so much of when I wanted to play Fallout 4 so fucking bad. I took 10 days off work and then basically streamed for like five of those days. And was like, finish this four of those days, three of those days, finish the storyline. was like, great, now we're just running around, not doing too much. Like, it's just not. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, Emily, we'll go check him out. I'm still going to check him out. So I'll probably be slowing down with the actual guides just to make sure I can take my time with it. I want to make sure I can get all the details possible. This is laughamation stuff. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely affirm you yourself that, you, that you're making the right decision, man. Many guide videos lately, That's a lot of time, bro. Needed, but also because you know. it's well known that Amazon is notorious for making really aggressive changes, like almost to an annoying degree, I'll admit. So this yep. time I wanted to wait until we knew exactly how these systems would work just to get a fresh perspective this time. But I also need to do this to pace myself because I'm almost at about 4,000 total hours in this game. And it's been more than 3,344 hours during the original beta test. 3,344 hours. I get it. If you love a game, go in and play the fuck out of it. But dude, there is burnout. There is fucking burnout. You hit fucking burnout point, bro. Holy fucking shit, Gaddy, calm the fuck down. 850 in total, holy shit. I want to learn how the gameplay works combat-wise because if it's like Smite, where you need to have to, you have to skill to hit with auto attacks, you're all going to learn why I was top 5 ranked in For Honor. Oh, goddamn, BJ. Has to be on, has to be on the crystal pistol. <laughs> has to be on the glass barbie, man. From all the betas, man. How do you gain 4,000 hours during a beta? There's probably a bunch of different betas and you just fucking just smashed every single beta trying to get as much of it out as you possibly can. But, there's there's a point right where like you literally put so much into the beta that by the time the game comes out you just go bro i'm done i have to do all this all over again but is on the tillian to pillion she love i i bet you he's the lord of the, the tilly tillian pillion server 100 gone that far before so i'm basically free balling but in conclusion, what am I expecting from right. this patch? Well, as I said during the open beta, for the first two days that I did play, and during the closed beta, I think it's going to be closer to the June patches. Mostly bug fixes, right. potentially a few feature additions, some balance tweaks, of course, but nothing too major. I think there were rumors popping up about... So if you guys don't hear from me or see anything see anything from this channel after this game comes out, you know what the fuck happened, right? Be nice, Keep me up in Discord. <laughs> when the game first released in Alpha and Beta, you had to make cities yourself and it was a lot of PvP. On Twitter Ooh. around August 5th, they even posted that they were going to be working on bug fixes and stability and that there wouldn't be any new content before launch. Yep. It wouldn't be the first time that things changed later on, but I'm not going to hold my breath just yet. Yet. Okay. What I think could happen though is that they might nerf I'll the mob farming areas. <laughs> yeah, most likely. These were really good for weapon experience and even regular experience in general. So just based off previous patches, this might be something that ends up in their crosshair. Shit. Past that, they might take another shot at the town projects potentially just to get it in the right place. Could see some more tweaks to the leveling experience overall. I would love to see a new leveling method entirely, but I doubt that'll happen for no. a little while. And build-wise, I'm sure we can expect that to be a big part of it. I'm sure many of you know that the Paladin builds were pretty crazy during the closed beta and that there were some nerfs dished out during the open beta, but later on people were saying that they were testing out some of the changes and a few of them didn't seem to be in effect. Okay. I noticed this initially with a couple of them, such as the 250 Constitution nerf, but the update video I made should still stand if that really was the case. However, since the Paladin build could get another nerf, over the past week I was able to come up with a contingency build to use for launch just in case I have to. It's not Bruh. Uh, the general one. This is this is either one or two things. This guy's literally gonna be the nexus of all information for this game. Or he will just start playing this game, he'll be disappointed, he'll burn out, and you'll never see anything from him ever again. That's the only two ways I can see this playing out, my man. We're gonna have to kick a brick wall and get a couple of days of work. Just headbutt head, just headbutt one, bro. Oh my god. I'll stream it. Yeah, maybe. Gaddy's had um, 350 hours during um, during this time. Okay. Okay. It's like Hatchet Great Axe. It's more of a unique build that you don't normally see people running around with. I might have to use it anyway, just initially while leveling up, but we'll see what happens. Either way, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful Damn. day. And I'll see you in there. Good on him, man. All these members on YouTube and shit and his Patreons and stuff. That's funky as fuck. Wish I had better music with that. That's very cool.
Very, very, very fucking cool, man. Very cool. Now, the question, the question, the question, the question. What are we going to go for faction, bro? 